it's called how how to keep confident um because i know a lot of people struggle with confidence myself included and um for those who are new because uh somebody new just came on um i do christian videos um tuesday thursday and saturdays except for this week it'll be on wednesday because i'll be busy thursday um but i have some scripture on confidence and then i'll go in and talk about it um philippians 3 3 for we are the circumcision which worship God in the spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. Proverbs 3.26 For the Lord shall be thy confidence. Psalm 118.8-9 It is better to trust the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust the Lord than to put confidence in princes. And I was just talking about that with somebody with that scripture. Uh, Psalm 71 5 this is the NIV version um, for you have been my hope O sovereign Lord my confidence since my youth Proverbs fourteen twenty six. in the fear of the Lord is strong confidence and his children shall have a place of refuge Galatians 5 10 I have confidence in you through the Lord Micah 7 5 through 7 Trust ye not a friend, but ye not confidence in a God. For the son dishonoreth the father, the, the daughter riseth up against her mother, the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the men of his own house. Therefore I will look unto the Lord, I will wait for the God of my salvation, my God will hear me. Hebrews 3.14 For we are made partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. Hebrews 10.35 Cast not away therefore your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. 1 John 3, 21. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then have we confidence toward God. 1 John 5, 14 through 15. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he, he heareth us, and, and if we know that he hear us, what so ever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. First John two twenty eight. And now, little children, abide in him, that when he shall appear, we may have confidence, not be ashamed before him at his coming. Um. So as you could see, the scripture that I just read, it. You always see it. Confidence in him. Confidence in Him. Confidence in the Lord. Confidence in the Lord. That's telling you, in plain, bold letters, confidence in the Lord. Put your confidence in the Lord and not in man. And everything will be added unto you. Everything shall come to pass. So you sit there and put confidence in the Lord. Pray to Him. Pray to him. And then you'll know your identity. And and I just sent a, a link um, on Facebook a while ago. Talk about this girl's testimony who I watch on YouTube a lot. She's um a little bit younger than me. So I'm going to say she's 18, 19. Or she's somewhere around that age. You know, she was healed of Lyme disease and scoliosis. And she was just doing her testimony. And she had to learn her to find her confidence in him. And she had to learn how to get her where her identity was in him and some of us christians need to work on that ourselves including me you know i'm still trying to figure out who am i in him i know what my calling is i know what i'm supposed to do but i don't know like i know i'm his daughter that's don't what i mean i mean like spiritually what is my identity in him what is your identity in the Lord? Where do you put your confidence in? Do you put it in man? Do you put it in Facebook? Do you put it in friends? Do you put it in um, a family member? Do you put it in um, 
a child? Do you, I mean, where do you put your confidence in? I want you guys to think about where you put your confidence. And I'm working on myself, too, to put my confidence in the Lord. And I, and I hope and pray that you guys can put your confidence in the Lord because, you know, you're going to hear this a lot. We're in the last days, and it's fixing to come to pass. This thing's fixing to get wrapped up. And once, the, once, once, once this get wrapped up, I mean, there's, you can't, there's no, I mean, I would rather fight, well, because most of you know my testimony, um, you know, I'm not supposed to, you know, I'm a, I'm a walk, I'm a miracle baby, you know, I'm a walking miracle, and so, um, I think how everything lined out was the way that it was supposed to supposed to have went. There, may, yeah, there may be some um, regrets that I've I've messed up in, but we are gonna we're all gonna mess up because there was only one perfect one. Um, but if you're you know you accepted Jesus as your savior and you um, love him and you um, want to become more like him. Put your confidence in him because would you put your confidence in him then you could go out to out there to the people who need him and when your confidence shines through him you can talk to them people out, out there who are sinning and don't know and then once they see the confidence you put in the Lord they would want that they would want the same thing Um, but everybody, everybody is beautiful in their own way. We're all unique and, and God just, just did a wonderful thing when he created each and every one of us. Cause there's different cultures, there's different, you know, um, skin color, there's different genetics. I mean, it's just amazing how he put us all, uh, the clay or the clay and how he just, I could just see him like reaching down for the uh, to get the dust and creating us. I could, I mean, it's just wow. Um, but I highly, highly, highly advise put your confidence in him, and I'm working on this myself. So, I mean, I'm not just standing here saying I'm perfect, and you know, I mean, I'm I have to do this myself. That's why I come to you guys to show you what I've learned and hopefully to give you advice and help you guys through this and that way we can work through it together. Um, but that's what the Bible says about confidence. Um, so, um, that was Saturday's video. Um, the next video is today's and then I'm going to upload one tomorrow for Thursday because I'm, so, um, I'm going to be with my aunt on Thursday. And so I will um, upload Thursdays a day early to make sure that gets up. But today's video, we're going to talk about rejection. Um, so, um, but I hope you guys um, go put your confidence in the Lord and see what happens. Love you guys. Bye.